I've lived in Baltimore since I was like four years old, you know. I uh, got diagnosed when I was about nine. It was a pretty big shock. I was in third grade and it was right before spring break, so didn't get to go on vacation. Um, I found out about Sweeney not until I was um, 16. It was summer after sophomore year of high school and my mom came to me and said, your grandmother knows this woman named Wenzel Conroy that she grew up with and Wenzel has two sons that work at this summer camp in Dallas for diabetics and one of them is diabetic and went there since he was six years old. And it's this awesome place and I think we should give it a try and see how you like it. And I'd never really been to a sleepaway camp so I was like a little skeptical. I was like, uh, I don't know, I mean, it, it, should I really? And she was like, yeah, it, it's such a great idea to like, you know, you can learn more about how to take care of yourself and like get ready for college and you can meet a ton of new people and they come from everywhere. It's not just from Texas, like she told me people come from all over the place, other countries even. So, you know, still a little skeptical. I was like, all right, I'll give it a try. And ended up having three weeks. They were like the greatest three weeks of my life. I got to camp and my dad was the one who dropped me off and I was nervous, very visibly nervous because you know I'd, I'd, it'd been a while since I'd gone to something where I really didn't know anybody, like I didn't know anyone involved. I hadn't met the Conroys yet. I was just totally in the dark and so the first day I was a little squeamish about the whole thing. I was like trying to feel my way around and meet people and I met my big brother, Sean, and he introduced me to my little brother group and I immediately met some awesome guys who got me right into the whole Sweeney spirit. And um, I met a couple guys who played guitar and one of them who actually had basically the same guitar I had and we, we were just jamming in the cabins for like pretty much all of camp. Every time we had cabin time we would just jam and learn new stuff together and you know I got to play at the talent show and I got asked to play at the campfire and it was like it was amazing to play in front of a big group of people like that who I knew were all there to support me and when I was on stage and it was it was amazing because like I always like have a lot of stage fright when I perform and it was with at, with the Sweeney family and how supportive they are it was a lot more inviting than it usually is and it made it so I can really like become a better musician by playing with these guys and by being able to play in front of the camp it was it was amazing it was one of the best experiences ever. Definitely like the amount of activities we do every day and like every week and all the things you can do is really awesome. I remember I was like in better shape at camp than I ever was any of the years before just because of how much activity we were getting and stuff like that and all of the traditions they have also are just incredible and definitely like the chapel services were incredible with the senior speeches and also the reading of the virtues which was really cool. It was just such a cool thing to be there with all my brothers and sisters and just listen to those things and like hand in hand and just share the emotional moments that came from that. And also in a ton of other parts of camp, the emotional moments that we all shared together were just incredible and it's stuff I'm never gonna forget. I mean, honestly, I really have Camp Sweeney to thank for all of this amazing stuff that I've learned and that I've experienced. So thank you, Camp Sweeney. Thank you very much.